it's a great thing that Aviva have put on this camp for us just before the European uh, Championships. We've done the trials and now we get to come here and just relax and train hard and just get final preparations done before the European Champs. I'm used to training around the streets in London to come out here and see mountains and massive lakes to run around and just have more time as well to concentrate on training. It's, it's really beneficial and it's, it's an amazing experience as well. The benefits of altitude training are varied, but essentially what we're looking for is an increase in red blood cells. So when the athletes first arrive at altitude, they find the training quite hard, but it's slowly over time they'll start to adapt and we'll start to see new red blood cells coming in. And the benefits of having new red blood cells in, in competition is that uh, obviously they're then able to carry more oxygen in the blood, get more oxygen to the muscle and operate more efficiently. And what that means in results terms is that they should be running faster. I spent many times sort of with, in Africa and Kenya and it's actually just sort of, if you can get here close to where her home, it's awesome to do that. It makes us catch up with the, the Africans who benefit from having it year on, year round. It gives that little extra edge of obviously having a little bit less oxygen so we're pushing ourselves a little bit harder and when we come back down to sea level, it's, things seem, your legs are so much lighter. So it does, if nothing else, it's psychologically, it, it, it improves yourself. You need a pick-me-up and so if she you know, wants to talk about her session, how it went and how it didn't, and likewise with me, we can really help each other to look at the good things uh, and the positive side of things and really uh, help each other to keep each other happy, motivated and while at the same time not making it too intense. So I've done everything but the European champs, so this will uh, finish off the collection for me. I'm really looking forward to going to Barcelona. I'm really looking forward to the European Championships. It's going to be the first time I'm running for Great Britain. Um, I definitely, first and foremost, want to run a personal best and then from there be competitive and, at the very least, medal with the team. It's been my first kind of major um, summer championships for Great Britain, but uh, I like to think I'm um, sort of aiming high and, I mean, uh, like to, if I build on my performance at London, I think I can be in the mix. I've had the experience of one of these champs before, and so it's my second time round, so I'm looking to make the final and hopefully get a medal. At the moment, I'm ranked second uh, going into the European Championships, and, uh, and so that, that, that is a massive confidence booster for me to know that I'm going in it with a real good chance for a medal. This is what you work for. You work to go to somewhere like Barcelona, amazing city, and running big championships and just running big city marathons as well. Four years ago, I came second, less than half a second, so that still plays in my mind. But you know, it's not all about running running a fast time, it's about sort of getting the right race and using the right tactics and also winning major championship. You know, I could be ranked number one, but that doesn't mean nothing. You've got to get it right on the day, and that's what it's all about, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to it.